Are you ready to create a website for your business or for your agency, but you're not sure where to register your domain name? Here at Brainstorm Force, we like to use Google Domains as our domain register of choice and Google Workspace for our email hosting. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you why you should be using them too. Hi, I'm Yaz and this is Brainstorm Force. We create educational content about everything WordPress. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. If you've been trying to register a domain name for yourself, you'd probably already know that there's so many different options when it comes to domain registration services. What you probably didn't know though is that Google offers their own domain registration service, Google Domains. Google Domains stands out among its competitions for many reasons. For one, it's very simple to use and it's very easy to manage your domain with. Google Domains doesn't try to upsell you with any hidden costs or any additional features that you'll never need. They're really transparent with their pricing. It also lets you manage all your domains in one place. This especially comes in handy when you wanna have multiple different hosting services for the different domains you own. Google Domains also features built-in email forwarding as part of the regular plan, or you can get custom email addresses with your business name with part of Google Workspace. And lastly, Google security is much better than the competition and they boast amazing customer service. And what's important to know is that Google Domains does not provide any kind of hosting service. So once you purchase a domain, you have to find a third-party hosting system and connect it back to your domain on Google Domains. Now I will walk you through Google Domains and show you how simple it is to purchase a domain for yourself and show you some of the features that make it better than its competition. First, let's go and navigate to Google Domains website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And when you land on the website, you'll recognize a very familiar branding. You've got Google's colors all over the website with very minimal design. And right on the front page, you can see there's a search bar for the search for the domain that you're after. And it also lets you know that it has more than 300 different domain name extensions available. And they also provide 24 seven Google support from real humans. We'll talk more about that later on in the video. First, we're gonna go ahead and sign in. If you already have a Google account, we can use that account to log into Google Domains. Otherwise, you can register for a brand new account. And once you've signed in, you've landed into Google Domains' dashboard. And landing on the dashboard, we already see one of the key features that makes Google Domains better than its competition. As you can see, it looks very clutter-free, very user-friendly, and all the settings are right there, which makes it easy to navigate through. Some of the other options are quite outdated in terms of their UI. They can look clunky and with bad design. And often you'd have to run around in circles trying to find the menus and settings you're looking for. But with Google Domains, that's not the case. On this screen right here, we're currently on the My Domains page. And right in the middle, you'll see that it says No Domains Yet. And over here, you see a big blue button that says Find the Perfect One. It's just Google's magical way of saying Search for your domain name. And the second option we also have is transfer a domain. So if you already have a domain name you own on a different register, you can choose to bring that over to Google. And the whole process is very easy as well. But in this video, we're gonna only focus on purchasing a brand new domain name. So you can go ahead and click that blue button when we're gonna search for a domain name. And you'll arrive here. And if you've used Google in the past, this big search bar might be familiar to you. I hear they're quite good with their searches. And now we're gonna go ahead and type in the domain name that we're looking for. You can enter anything you'd like, and Google does a really good job at showing you all of its suggestions. So for this example, I'm just gonna write example domain 2021. And hitting search. And now you'll see that Google's gone ahead and populated all the available names for the domain name you've searched for. And you have a whole lot of different options in terms of extensions like .com, .org, .net. You can even click all endings to see all the different varieties you have available. There's so many different varieties possible. And you can choose the perfect one for yourself. And going back to the results tab, I'll show you that Google even suggests different domain names similar to the one you've searched for. So we've got example realm, example area. So you have a whole lot of choice when choosing the domain name you're after. However, if one that you want is unavailable, it will also let you know on this page. It's really handy and it'll show you all the availabilities all in one place. And once you have a domain name you like, you can go ahead and add it to your cart using this little button here, the cart icon. Alternatively, if you wanna purchase your domain name later and only kind of shortlist the domain names you like, you can go ahead and add them to your favorites by clicking on the little heart like so. And as you can see, your favorites are available up here. And then we have three of them currently saved. And right beside it is the cart. 
And currently we have one domain name added to the cart and we're going to go ahead and purchase that one. And this is what your cart will look like. And this brings me to my next two points as to why you should use Google domains as your domain register of choice. And the first one is under the registration tab. Clicking on this drop down box here, you can see that Google charges you $12 per year. And that's the same for every subsequent year after that as well. So you can notice that with two years, it's $24, with three years, $36, and with 10 years, it's $120. For every single year that you're with Google Domains, they always charge you the same flat fee. And it doesn't change the pricing. So it's really amazing how Google Domains is transparent, there's no hidden fees, and they don't try to upsell you with anything. What you see here is what you get, and that's amazing. In contrast, some other domain name registrars can offer you the first year for even cheaper, but then go ahead and add on a big fee for every year after that. This can be a little misleading and confusing, especially if you haven't purchased a domain name before. And moving down, we see a privacy protection is on button. When you register a domain, you have to provide the domain registrar with your name, address, and a whole lot of personal information. And all of this information is very easily accessible to the public. And this is why you want privacy protection on for your domain. This will protect all of your private information from the public. And as you can see here, you have a toggle to turn it on and off. And when I'm turning this on and off, you'll notice that it doesn't change the price. What I'm trying to say is that Google Domains offers the privacy protection for absolutely free. And in contrast, a lot of other domain registrars will ask you to pay for this feature. And this is a massive benefit when it comes to Google Domains. It gives you that privacy for absolutely free. And just below that is auto renew. And auto renew is just referring to renewing your subscription to Google Domains once your desired period is over. So as you can see here, once the one year is up, it will go ahead and renew it for a further one year. And now moving down to the custom email section, this is where you can create a custom email address with your domain name attached, just like this one here, you at sampledomain2021.com. So instead of sample domain, of course, it will be your own domain name and you have complete freedom to create email addresses as you'd like. But with Google domains to create that custom email address, you have to purchase a separate subscription to Google Workspace. Google Workspace, it's Google's cloud-based suite of productivity apps and enterprise tools. And you'll need to purchase that for yourself if you want to have this custom email option. We'll talk more about Google Workspace in a bit. At the moment, we're just going to continue on with purchasing our domain name. And once you're ready to check out, we can go ahead and press this big blue button here. And on this next screen here, this is where you have to enter all your private information, like your name, address, email address, and even phone number. This is the kind of information that we talked about keeping private to the public. And once that's done, you can proceed and enter your credit card details and purchase your domain. And once you've completed your purchase, congratulations, you've purchased your first domain on Google. I'm now switched to a different account to give you a taste of what it looks like. And as you can see, it shows you all the domain names I've got registered. And if you have more than one name registered on Google domains, it will all show up on this one screen right here. And once again, Google makes it extremely easy to navigate through their user interface and manage your domain. As you can see here on the domain name, right on the side, you have a button that says manage. Once we click that, it takes us into a menu that gives you a little bit of an overview on your domain. As you can see, we currently have a website set up. It even has all these other settings on the left-hand side here, including registration settings, DNS website, to name a few. And now that we've purchased a domain name, the next obvious step that you want to do is to build your website. And when it comes to building your website, the number one website builder we highly recommend is WordPress. WordPress is extremely easy to use, it's free to install, and it has amazing customization skills. So you can set up your website exactly how you want it to look, exactly how you want it to function. But before installing WordPress, you'd need to set up your hosting. And with Google Domains, it makes it very easy to connect to any third-party hosting of your choice. Say if you have multiple different domains with varying different types of requirements registered on Google Domains, you can choose exactly what kind of hosting you want on each specific domain you own whether it be a high powered domain or even like a free domain, totally depending on which domain you want to use it for. And you don't have that same freedom with other domain name registers. And once you have your hosting, it only takes a few clicks from there to go ahead and install and set up WordPress on your website. If you need help deciding what hosting service you should choose, or if you already have a hosting service and need help connecting your domain to that hosting service, we have a few videos coming up on these topics. So make sure you subscribe and have notifications turned on so you don't miss out on these videos. 
Now coming into the DNS tab, when it comes to different domain name registers, the DNS can vary between register to register, and this can affect the speed of your website. But with Google Domains, they use their own Google Cloud DNS within their own infrastructure. This allows for the best possible speeds for your website without having to pay extra fees for it. And this is another benefit of using Google Domains. And when it comes to security, Google also stands out among the rest with two-step verification as well as DNS SEC. The two-step verification might seem a little bit insignificant if you're used to using Google products, but when it comes to alternative domain name registers, this is a feature that's not available on most of them. And having DNS SEC is important to protect your domain against cyber attacks and hacking. Both of these together just improve the security of your domain and domain register account, which makes Google Domains better than its competitors. And now coming back to email, which we talked about before, with Google Domains, if you want that custom email address, you will have to purchase a separate subscription to Google Workspace. But built within Google Domains is the email forwarding, and how it does this is by using alias email addresses, which are essentially substitute email addresses that simply receive email for you and forward it onto an account of your choice. They're not an actual email address. And with the alias email addresses, you can add the same extension as your domain name and make it look like it is a custom email address. This way you can give your alias email address to a customer or client. And when they send an email to you, this alias will receive the email and then forward it onto your actual email address. But if you still want that fully functional custom email address, you will need to purchase Google Workspace. But you might be wondering why you should pay for Google Workspace for your email hosting when you can get it for free or for even cheaper through your existing shared hosting plan. Now your shared hosting plan might offer you one or two free email accounts with a couple of gigabytes of storage, but it's not really recommended to have your website and your email both hosted on the same hosting service. And what happens is that when you have your website and your email hosted on the same hosting service, if the service goes down, then both your website and your email are going to be down as well. And this will be a disaster if you rely on your email for your day-to-day -day business to communicate with clients or your team. Shared email hosting also is known to have deliverability issues as well as weaker security than with a paid dedicated email hosting. And even though you have to pay $6 per user per month to have your emails hosted on Google Workspace, we think that the benefits from Google Workspace will outweigh any sort of offer you'll get from a competitor. For starters, with Google Workspace, your web hosting will be separate from your email hosting. And Google also guarantees excellent uptime, so you'll always have access to your emails. And Google's email service, Gmail, you might have heard of it. It's an excellent email service that's extremely reliable with no deliverability issues. And Google Workspaces also offers excellent security with their regular plans with the option to upgrade to enhanced security with the higher pricing options. And on top of getting an excellent email hosting service with Google Workspace, you also get the range of amazing Google productivity apps and enterprise tools, as well as a huge amount of cloud storage through Google Drive. For as little as $6 per user per month, you're getting amazing email hosting, as well as a range of all these different features, which other domain registers simply can't compete with. And this is why we think you should use Google Workspace for your email hosting. It's totally worth it. This last feature applies to both Google Domains and Google Workspace, and in my opinion, it's a huge consideration when choosing a domain register and email hosting service, and that is the customer support. With any Google service, you get amazing customer support, and they provide a whole range of different options on how you can contact them. This includes email, live chat, as well as requesting for them to call you back. So it's really easy to reach them exactly when you need them. And with Google Workspaces, you have the option to upgrade to enhanced support with 24 seven access to priority support. And this way you can have the peace of mind knowing that you can get help as soon as an issue comes up. And that summarizes why you should use Google Domains as your domain register of choice and why you should host your emails on Google Workspace. If you got value from this video, make sure you help us out by leaving a like, subscribe to our channel down below and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Yaz from Brainstorm Force and I'll see you in the next one.